I V M. Hey everybody, quick request once again if you could help us out by filling out our survey. It's at ivmpodcast.com slash survey. This really helps us talk to advertisers about the kinds of people listening to these shows. Really do appreciate your help and we're going to be doing a random drawing and we'll be sending out some IVM swag. Hope you enjoy that. Namaskar. My name is Ashish Vidyarthi and good to see you here, dear friend, on Begin the Journey. Are you focused? <laughs> you must stay focused. That is something that you and I have grown up with. People around us continuously reminding us, stay focused, stay focused. Don't look here and there. Stay focused on what you're committed to. Just look. Why are you meeting these people? Are they of any use? Why are you doing this? Is this of any use? Only do things that, that you need to do. Consider focus is very, very important because... Focus makes us look at the things that we think that we need to do and therefore we just go about doing it. Except when we started off that journey, we had those things in mind because those things were needed, those things were important. But as we come closer to it, we have suddenly discovered that probably the world needs something else. Let's put this in the context of reality. Isn't it true that each one of us started with some profession in mind, thinking that we will study and then we'll read someplace and we will do that? Guess what? As we graduated, as we moved ahead in life, we may have discovered that, you know what? Probably possibilities are not there where we were looking for. Many a times that would have dejected you. It has dejected me. Oh, yes. Remember, I started off my journey wanting to be an actor. Yes, wanting to be an actor. And I started off doing theater, training, learning, discovered not much work in Delhi. In fact, not work at all, not getting paid at all. So I said, you know what, I got to move. So I moved to Mumbai. Mumbai, initially, of course, I was here to work in films, very clearly, to work in films. Guess what? I discovered there were a few films which I being offered to me, but they were not paying me money. So how do I survive? So in that focus thing that I'll only do films, nothing else but films and only, so I'll only talk about it. How would I eat my friend? I discovered that while I was waiting for films to happen, I started doing voiceovers in a very funny way. I would read stock index for a very interesting, uh, uh, you know, beginning programs of private television. It was called Business Bate. And I used to read the stock index at the end of that news on stock market. ACC has gone this much, BCC has gone this much, this, that, and I would read it dramatically and they would pay me 150 rupees. But those were important rupees. As I used to work nearly three days a week with them, it was a lot of money for me because I had to pay my rent. Guess what? Even as I was working for my films, something in the periphery got me work. Look at yourself, dear friend. There are things happening in your periphery which are going to aid you. Now, a few months later, as I started getting films, my voiceover stopped and I was deep into films. But somewhere deep within me, I knew that I could do it. Years later, as I do my motivational talks, that ability of mine to do powerful communication over voice has remained with me. Through my life, I have discovered many things around my thing that I'm focused on. I've discovered even this ability of mine to be relatable to people as something which I need not have focused on because I was just an actor. My role was just to go and do roles, listen to scripts and go and enact them. But guess what? I also discovered that, you know, while I was going to shoot, there were people there. I would meet them. I would interact with them. I would discover different aspects to them. And most of them did not even have anything to do with films. I discovered life through people around when I was unfocused. I was focused when I was doing whatever that I was doing at that point. Exactly, dear friend. The game is not of being focused or unfocused. The game is to be multi-focused. Multi-focused is the name of the game. When you can focus on multiple things, namely you're focusing on the thing that you're doing at this very moment. Who knows? Who knows something incredible can happen for you inside of this moment? So over the years, I have discovered that I shall focus, but I shall focus over multiple things. 
And each time that I'm doing something, I shall be focused on that and then move to the next one. Just to let you know right now, even as I'm recording this piece for you, in about 20 minutes, I shall be heading out to a studio to do a look test for a film which is beginning at the end of this month. Thereafter, right after that, I shall head to a friend's place at Bandra because my look test is at Bandra and I cannot possibly reach my home in time for my two live events. And when I step into my live event, I shall be a focused motivational speaker, a focused consolidator of possibilities. And right after that, as I'm heading home, I shall be engaging in some meetings and listening to some scripts. At that point, that will be a focused actor listening to scripts. Dear friend, I want you to get that you are multifaceted. So please get multi-focused. Remember, you never know where your next possibility can come up from. Don't limit yourself by saying that I'm focused on one thing. Be focused on the thing that you're doing and then move to the next thing that you want to be focused on. But remember, there's more to your life than just one thing. I would love to hear your thoughts, how you can be focused, or rather, multi-focused. Al shukran bandhu. Al shukran sadhiki. Cheers to a multi-focused life for a multi-faceted you. Thank you for walking with me on Begin the Journey. I just want to tell you, you may follow me on Twitter at Ashish Ved, on Instagram on Ashish Vidyarthi One, and on YouTube on Ashish Vidyarthi Official. I would love to hear your thoughts and would love to incorporate your thoughts into my talks. Cheers, lots of love. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that show. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So everybody, please do help us out with our survey if you haven't filled it out yet. It's on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. This survey is really helpful for us. And, you know, fill out the survey completely and uh, we'll put you into a lucky draw and we will send you some IVM swag. And what a great week of episodes we had and what an eventful week we had. Let me run through some of the episode highlights really quickly. On Pesa Vesa, Samir Nair of Applause Entertainment was on to discuss the web series Scam 1992. Great conversation with Anupam was had. Do check that out. Bhavish Sumaya of Hasbro was on Advertising is Dead. On Positively Unlimited, Chitna is starting a new series from A to Z. This week, Align. Do check that out. And on GBCD, Farhad and Sunetra asked the question, what if they were straight? Interesting conversation. Definitely do check that out. I think you'll enjoy that. And one piece of news for you guys. Cyrus Says is now live on YouTube every weekday at 10 a.m. If you go to our IVM Podcast YouTube channel, you'll be able to catch us over there. And stay tuned for a lot more video content coming out in the next couple of weeks. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. 2020 is a difficult year. A global pandemic, protests, elections, recessions. You get the picture. What we need is a space where we can have nuanced discussions about global affairs and foreign policy. That's where I come in. My name is Hamsini Hariharan, and I host the States of Anarchy podcast. Every second Tuesday, I speak to experts in the field of international relations to make a little more sense of the world. So join me on the IBM podcast app, website, or wherever you're listening to me right now.